Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick uh, unboxing of these uh, Yetta Motor brand running boards. And I know they're made in China. And the name sounds ridiculous. But there's the model number, circled in blue. And these are for a 2016 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD uh, double cab, not the crew cab. Crew cab has full size rear doors. Mine has the smaller rear doors, so they call it a double cab. Anyway, that's what these are for right there. <clears throat> anyway, I'm gonna unbox these and uh, take a quick look inside. I've already cut them open, but I flipped it over just so I could show you the model number. Uh, let me get this flipped back over. So, here's what they look like. They look like they're packaged pretty good. Again, I kind of already opened this one earlier, but I haven't taken anything out yet. But this one are the, uh, the brackets. And this particular model for the double cab is going to have three on each side. And these look pretty decent. They're nice thick gauge. And I, I've already kind of know how they go on, but basically they go up underneath the truck, obviously. And they bolt to the rocker panel here and here, and then the running boards sit here. This is just the other side, then three brackets. And I ordered the black ones. So it gives you all the mounting hardware for each one. And these are the special little nut clips that go up inside the rocker panels on the truck. And I like the black ones because my truck is kind of a, it's a 2500 HD, so it's a work truck. So uh, these are going to look pretty good on there. And we got the, I like the six inch wide and these are made out of aluminum. So they're lightweight. And the other thing that I like about them so far is the, the screws are adjustable. You loosen these up and you slide them down to fit the brackets that are on the truck. And I've read some reviews where some people buy the ones that are fixed, the fixed positions, and they have a hard time getting them on. So these are fully adjustable. And if I decide that I want to buy a fourth bracket, because my truck actually has four mounting holes underneath, I've already looked. So I thought about buying a fourth bracket, and that way I've got four of them on each side. Even though the double cab, all the running boards only call for three on each side. Anyway, they look pretty good. Uh, again, they're packaged really nice. And... Uh, I saw some instructions in here, and I'd heard that the instructions were no good, and I didn't actually look at them yet. Here's the rest of the bolts and stuff. And they give you some little gloves, whatever that's for. I guess so you don't hurt yourself, whatever. Um, yeah, here's the instructions, so. <laughs> the instructions are pretty lame. They just show you some pictures and that's basically it. Anyway, these are Yit Yitta Motor brand. And I read the reviews on them. That's why I bought them. For a cheaper running board, uh, they've actually got good reviews on them. I think I paid like 150 bucks for these. I want to say it might have been a little cheaper. I can't really remember. But... I got them 20% off right before the crisp right before Christmas. Today we are going to install these Yetta motor running boards that I ordered off of Amazon. And we are installing them on a 2016 Chevy Silver Auto 2500 HD and it is the double cab not a crew cab a lot of people call these a crew cab but the rear door on a double cab 
is not as long as a crew cab rear door. So just wanted to clarify that this is a double cab, not a crew cab. Anyway, I'm going to get a little help from Lizzie Borden today. Uh, I'm hoping that she'll hand me the sockets when I need them and maybe read the instructions. Her real name is Resussy Annie, but I like to call her Lizzie Borden. <clears throat> She's not very talkative, but anyway, maybe she'll help me today. So the first thing you've got to do is crawl underneath here. And I'm hoping that there's enough light where you can see. But in this case, we got to pull this little rubber plug out and put these little special little nuts on there. And they look just like this. And we'll pull that out and we'll put the nut on just like that. Slide it in behind there, I'll show you. <clears throat> and it calls for this. See, there's one up here. Don't get confused with that one because that is just a plug. There's no there's no hole beside it. You got to have the one with the hole beside it. And you'll also notice there's a hole down here that that is where the bottom goes on. And this one doesn't have the hole and it doesn't have a hole down at the bottom. So you know that ain't the right one. <clears throat> so this is the front of the truck. So there's the first one. And then the second one is right there. And I've just temporarily just kind of set that one in there, but you can see how it works. And a lot of guys get confused and they said, well, this thing has to be facing towards the back. But the, when you put them on the other side, they will be facing towards the back. Both sides have the same part number. So don't let that bother you. So anyway, we'll put this front one, the next one back, and then all the way back here. Sorry about the sun. So there's another there's another one right here, but this truck is set up right here, so I'll clean that off. But see there's the other rubber plug with the with the hole and the bolt hole there. So when I get all three of these on, I'll put them on. I won't tighten them up, they'll just be loose like this one. And then I'll come back and show you what I'm doing next. I was gonna, I forgot to show you, I was gonna show you how to pop this out. Uh, I just put a flathead screwdriver in there. You just kind of get it underneath there and just give it a good little pop. And there it's out of there. And then this little booger just slides on just, whoops, I put, just about put it on backwards. You gotta make sure the nut goes towards the back. The long part goes towards the back. And then you just slide that on until it lines up with the bolt hole. And then we'll just put that bracket on there. Anyway, when I get all three of them on there, I'll leave them loose and then I'll come back. Okay, so I got all the brackets. I got all three of them on there and I just got them snugged down. I haven't <clears throat> totally tightened them yet but you can see how they go on there it's pretty simple that nut just slides in that big hole like I showed earlier and then you put the bolt in up from the bottom and the instructions don't show a washer right here but I really felt like it needed one uh, it just shows the nut going directly down with one washer on the bottom. And they only give you enough washers to put one on the bottom. So I've went and found some extra washers and I went ahead. I haven't done it on this one yet. I'm going to put, I'm going to, or did I? No, I haven't yet. So I'm going to put a washer on that one. Anyway, that's what they look like when all three of them are installed. And they're not totally tight. I've just got them snugged. So, let me carefully set the board down. All right. So now, I'm gonna carefully flip that over. And those nuts, they're gonna slide around. 
I'm sure. Now they did move quite a bit. So all I'm gonna do is just slide them down. Get them close. And you can see there's adjustment in and out and I can still move it fore and aft. So I'll do that on all three of these. And then once I get ready to align the board, uh, I'll take some measurements, you know, in and out. And then I'll just come and snug these down. And if I'm happy with it, then I'll go and I'll tighten up these, finish tightening all those, and then we'll test it out. And we'll see what it looks like. So I put the board on there and I got all the bolts tightened up or just hand hand tightened right now you can see they're all on there I just kind of hand tightened them <clears throat> and so now what I'm doing is I'm just kind of check fitting it so you see I can pull I can slide it all the way out or all the way in and I think I'm gonna go with them all the way in just so they're because the, the, if you go all the way out that's just a little more leverage to push on them and I'd rather them to be as solid as I can keep them so I'm gonna opt to push them in and then all I'm doing is coming over and kind of looking to see what that looks like you see what it looks like back there and I had Lizzie check it out she said it looked pretty good so I think that's kind of the way we're gonna go with it but I could come forward just a little bit see that it's able to slide a little bit there we go okay so I got them on or I got this one on and pretty pleased with it really I, uh, I tested it out I wanted to put the camera on it so you could kind of see what it looks like and again I pushed mine as far in as it would go and then I tightened everything down I tightened all the bolts up and it looks pretty level so far I'm pretty happy with it and here's what it looks like when you stand on it now again I've got the truck sitting on those ramps so it's a pretty good step right now but you can kind of see what it does So, I'd say, all in all, for a cheap running board, it's actually pretty solid. I haven't tried the back door to see what it feels like. Yeah, I mean, I, I put my whole weight. I'm a solid 185 or so. Maybe a few pounds heavier. But yeah. Actually, they feel pretty solid.